Welcome back everyone, it's Rocio Don and it's time for another reading. Um, today I'm going to be doing a reading on a meme that I seen and um, it was like an ancestral historical photo um, that was made into a meme and it's about a young boy at the time named David Ism who was 19 who had broke the color line at a segregated pool in Florida and I believe it was in June of 1958 and that resulted in them closing the facility down officials closing the facility down so I'm just gonna kind of look into this moment and just look at both sides and see like what their ancestors are saying what his ancestors were saying how do they feel about the results of it I don't know it's just interesting Okay, so what was the immediate thought of the white children that were in the pool when David Ism broke the color? What was the immediate thought? Let me be say tell, okay? I thought that was interesting. That's interesting that that card came out. Okay, so they're like, he's trying, he's doing it on purpose. He's trying to create something. And he may have been acting, like, real slick. Like, I don't, I, they're showing a woman, but this is speaking, like, you know, whatever. Um, In general, he came, like, real, like, sly and conniving. And then, you know, how women are usually, like, very sneaky and, you know, you'll never find out what we're doing and stuff like that. I feel like um, they were not expecting him to do that and that it was like, oh, you were you were literally trying to create something. Like, you were trying to make some shit, stir some shit up. Um, oh, they believe that... <laughs> They believe that he did it over a white woman. They believe that he was trying to get to a white girl that was over there. Oh, okay. Interesting that maybe he was trying to impress some woman, somebody that was over there. Um, I love doing readings like this because it's like I, I'm not even thinking this. Um, is that true? Was David Ism, was he trying, did he cross the, the colored line to impress some white woman? I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. I think so. There was either somebody who was who was trying to get their attention or they may have been looking at each other or smiling at each other um, before he did this. But he had pure intention to go over there and get that that person's attention. Um, That's interesting. So I was not expecting that. I wasn't. I really wasn't. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. So what was his ancestors thinking when he was doing this he breaking the law you know he's breaking the law at this point for some white woman's attention you know I, yeah she was always just segregated like i'm trying to be like i don't know if it was a white woman or a black woman but it's like no he crossed this he crossed the line for something somebody you know there was an intention behind it so i guess it was a, a white woman um what the what did David Ism's ancestors? What were they thinking when he did this? When he committed this? <sighs> um. First of all, his ancestors were not very strong to begin with. His ancestral ancestral treasury um, was not very. Uh, Field, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it had, didn't have much richness in it. Um, he could not do treacherous things as he was doing, and he really put himself in danger. So they really felt it took a lot um, 
for them to protect him and for nothing, no harm to come to him. It took them a lot of their energy to protect him when he did that. In their head, in their mind, stupid thing. Yeah, they they were like, he's acting very immature. They did not want him to really fuck up his life or get himself killed or anything like that. Um, this was 1958. Um, he was a young man. I don't I I don't know if he was that deplored by himself or what, but it's just like the circumstances could have been different for him, you know, and we understand, we all know the story of Emmett Till, that wasn't even true, you know what I'm saying, so they were like, this, he, he went towards this, um, in a very immature manner, and, um, he had one thing on his mind, it was, it was very much, um, fantasy, you know, and back then, men were very, like, uh, chivalrous, and like to show their uh, chivalry to women. And I don't know why it sounds so weird me saying that word. But <laughs> um, he was extremely innocent. The way that he conducted himself was extremely innocent. And um, I don't know why he thought that that would be okay to risk. His, he literally just put in his mind that he would risk it. Yeah. Um, listen, I don't know if they plan to do more to him than whatever, because the, they just closed down the facility. All I did was look at the picture, look at the quote, and boom, bam, bam, I'm doing a reading on it. Listen, God was protecting him. Okay? God. And some of the female ancestors had to come and protect him. The maternal ancestors from his maternal bloodline had to come and protect him. Okay. Um, yeah, it could have been worse. It could have been worse for him. So I just wanted to <laughs> give a quick reading about like these pictures because I always do want to know the background story. Like what is the background story to this clip? or this this conversation or this picture or whatever um and i think that i'm gonna uh, that's that that's the kind of stuff that interests me that intrigues me so y'all will continue to see readings like that from me if you will learn how to read if you would like to learn how to read like me um join fellowship and if you would like to join a community where you can learn how to make magical things also, um, herbal medicinal remedies for your household that you can do, you can sell, you can whatever. Um, this is the place. So, <sighs> I am out of time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.